Ladies and gentlemen, I have a question. I see a lot of videos on TikTok. I do watch them from time to time. And I see a lot of videos telling people how to do their own trust, how to create their own trust. Now, mind you, at SATCOM, we have a button, SATCOM911.com, S-A-T-C-O-M-M-911.com. There's a button, black button. It says start your own program. You can do your own trust. We've been telling people, giving them the directions, instructions, the documents. But however, when you go there, you'll see there's a lot of information. If it was so easy to create a trust, follow me. If it was so easy to create a trust, pay attention. If it was so easy to be creating trust, then why do companies charge thousands of dollars, attorneys charging tens of thousands of dollars to create a trust for you? Hmm. You can create a basic trust. That's easy. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. That's all it is. It only takes a couple of alphabets, and you can put together a trust. But then when you understand that there are different types of trust, constructive trust, express trust, implied trust, then you have the wonderful grantor's trust. There are so many trusts out there, spendthrift trusts. There are so many trusts out there. Which one do you need? Which one is more beneficial? Which language in the trust protects your assets more than another? When I tell you it took me a little bit over 10 and a half months now to create our trust, and then, hold on now, make sure y'all understand, we ain't finished with our trust. Hold on, just want to make sure I got to wait till my screen refreshes, because right now I done started Windows too quick and it don't appreciate when I do jump, jump and ship. This is the mini micro trust agreement. This is the third trust in the combination of three trusts. Why? Because a lot of people were asking about their children. And technically, they could have added them to the micro trust, but you might as well put everything in a mini micro trust, then have the micro trust be the grantor of the mini trust, and then the mega trust be the grantor of both other trusts, and so on and so forth. Now, hold on now. We had an individual who cried, and I'm going to say cried. He cried because he couldn't be the grantor. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not tailoring a trust for each individual according to your individual needs. We're tailoring a trust to get rid of that crutch that you have, that ankle bracelet that you have called the straw man, called the age of the minority. That's what this trust is created for. Now, if you want one that's tailored for you, then you can go talk to one of those attorneys that charge ten, fifteen thousand dollars, because that's what they do. I'm not joking. I'm telling the honest truth. You're not paying us for that. We didn't offer that program, a grantor's trust. He wanted a grantor's trust and didn't even know what he wanted. Kept talking about well, the grantor has a superior position. No, he doesn't. He's the one that writes the trust. The grantor's intentions is law of the trust. I've done too many videos explaining that. Too many videos. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, as we told you, a trust is there to protect you and your assets. That's it. The strongest position in the trust is the trustee. That's why it's called a trust, and that's why he's called a trustee. But what about the grantor? The grantor writes the trust. He's the one who literally sits up there and builds the house. He doesn't live in the house. He has no rights to live in the house. He has no say so over the house after he constructs the house. But the bank who sells the house to someone and the people who live in the house, they have more control. So you can sit, consider the bank as the trustee and the homeowner the beneficiary or vice versa, however you want to do it. Can the homeowner be both the bank and the homeowner? Of course he can. Can the bank be the beneficiary and you be the trustee? Of course you can, because those two positions are interchangeable in the style of trust we've done. The mega trust, micro trust, I haven't even done mine yet, people, and I need to. I promise you I need to. Out of all the other trusts that we've done, I did my... Uh, SAPAC one. I did do that one, but I haven't followed through on anything. But this one, I have no other choice but to follow through because this is the one that's going to protect everything, especially the mini micro trust. When you get it, you'll understand it because it is not done the same as the mega and uh, micro. 
the mini micro truss is a lot different. You'll see when you get it. You'll it actually because so many people are having a problem, hard time understanding what a truss is. This one actually explains <laughs> itself. It tells you what it's doing, why it's doing, where it's doing, where it's doing, how it's doing. You know, it does that with all of that because that's how it's designed. You oh, you want to know where you can get it from? You can't. You can uh, go to the website of that website uh, that that web address I just gave you. You can go there and look. I don't advertise for that like that. We we are not looking for new clients. We don't need it right now. My job is to provide the substance to the package. We've had two people who have gotten the package and then decided they didn't want it because they didn't understand it. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't help it. We have a website that explains everything. We have videos that talks about the mega and micro trust. The information is explained in all. Look, if you think we're gonna just, and we, we provide documentation to every single person who gets a trust explaining what the trust does. We even put it in question and answer format so that we ask general questions and provide general answers to the questions so that you have a better idea of the structure to trust. But then we have individuals who, they watch TikTok videos of people not explaining anything about a trust. So let's see if we can, let's see if we can explain some things. You guys don't mind? I haven't prepared for this. Matter of fact, I should go to chat GPT, but we're gonna go here. Wake up. Wake up. I need a list of 15 different types of trust agreements. Stop listening. Our trust composed of nine different elements. Okay, revocable trust, testamentary trust, uh, come on, irrevocable trust, asset protection trust, spendthrift trust, credit shelter trust, generation skipping trust, and other types of trust agreements. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look. They're going to give me 15 more. Bypass trust. Life insurance is a trust agreement, by the way. You didn't know that? IRA trust. Intentional defective grantors trust. Interesting. Discretionary trust, grantor retain unit trust, joint trust, blind trust, asset protection, and AB trust. Uh, let's see. I think we'd uncovered everyone bypass trust, charitable reminder, unit trust, and qualified personal resident trust. We're not even going to talk about the living trust. There's too many trust people, but not all of these trusts benefit you. So we've combined nine of the most powerful trusts into one trust agreement, but we triplicated that agreement. Right now, our clients have only received the first two. They're about to receive the third one when I complete it. This is so one is protected within another within another. So piercing the veil of this trust is more difficult than any other trust you've gotten from anyone. And look at that. We've given you, we put together a trust that would normally be rated at thirty to sixty thousand dollars. That's what people would normally pay for a Cayman Island trust. That's what we've done. To protect your assets, you put it in the mini micro or the micro trust. And the way it's worded is the way it's worded. Now the um mini micro trust will not be complete for another couple of weeks. Sorry. It's a lot to put together the language. You see, even after I finished, I just have to proofread it now, it's done. But even after I finish, I still have to go over it. I still have to fine tune it. That's why you're gonna see there might be some spell check errors and everything. We do tend to correct those as soon as we uh, it's brought to our attention. But just letting you know, it's a lot of work. It's not just, oh man, <laughs> it's been a long day anyway. So we're going to ask that you guys have a good day. We'll let you know more about trust soon. Trust me. Have a good day.